Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We're headed back underwater today. Today we are gonna focus on jerk baits, soft jerk baits and hard jerk baits, and compare the difference between how the fish respond to those baits when they're individuals versus in groups, and the differences between the soft bait and the hard bait. Let's head underwater and then we'll talk about the differences at the end. How awesome is it to watch those fish come up and just 
smash that jerk bait. You know, the hard jerk bait, traditionally not a summertime bait, but the more we have played with that underwater footage, the more we've interacted with the bass with different lures, the jerk bait is a year round bait. I think the only reason that it's not traditionally a summer bait is that a lot of our fisheries grass in. But that's, that's where that soft jerk bait takes over. You know, you switch over to a fluke or a similar soft jerk bait, they're gonna smash that thing all summer long. And then if, if the grass will allow, I mean, you guys see the difference. You see how crazy they get on that hard jerk bait. Now, this is not the first time that we've done underwater jerk bait footage, but it is hands down our favorite underwater footage. So we had to do it again. Some of my takeaways that constantly intrigue me is watching how the fish interact with the sound. Now, because we did a lot of slow motion, you missed some of that. But it's interesting, it seems like the more sound there is, the more aggressive those fish get, unless it's an ultra loud sound. If it's really, really loud, then it'll shut them down or turn them off. What else really stood out to me in this one? The way those fish work together, they pack, hunt the bait, they trigger each other into biting. Single fish seem to stalk the bait a lot farther. They follow it, they decide, they position, decide whether or not they wanna eat it. But if it's a school, they don't do that at all. They go from zero to 100 and they just smash that bait. The biggest takeaway, hands down, is how quickly they're eating and spitting that bait out. We've talked about it over and over again, the importance of sticky, sticky sharp hooks that on a jerk bait, stock hooks are typically not gonna get it done for you. They're good hooks, but they're not excellent hooks. And you guys see, they suck that bait in and fire it back out literally faster than you can react. If your hooks don't catch on their own, your hook set isn't even part of the equation. A lot of times the hooks themselves have to catch before you can even react. The fish would have that thing blown back out and then you hook set. It's amazing. So like all our jerkbait videos down in the description, we're gonna include links to all the baits and everything of course, but I'm also going to include the hooks that we use to replace on all of our jerkbaits. Because again, fractions of a second matter when you're jerkbait fishing and you've gotta have sticky hooks. I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. So much fun to go underwater and watch how those fish react. It's truly amazing. It excites me. I'm sure it excites you guys to get out there and throw that jerk bait. Enjoy the rest of your summer, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Try some different baits than you might have been throwing in your waters. And you might be surprised what happens next. Thanks, guys.